Now a question I think I'm gonna get a lot of is how small is the P365? I mean, really, how small is it? That's what we're gonna talk about today, just something really quick. I'm gonna show you some comparisons to some really popular concealed carry guns and kind of give you an idea of how small this gun is. Now, check out our review for all the in-depth uh, things we go over in the gun, pros and cons, shooting, all that kind of stuff. Today, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how small the P365 really is compared to the capacity and all of that. So uh, make sure you guys please take a second, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please follow us on our YouTube. Uh, if you haven't checked out YouTube, UGE2, it's powered by Utah Gun Exchange, and those guys are doing a phenomenal job, and it is a serious competitor to YouTube. I Just check it out. It's awesome. Uh, but please take a second and follow us over there. And of course, Subscribe to us over here and uh, uh, let's try to get to 100,000 subscribers, man. I really appreciate you guys. And let's go ahead and talk about the P365 and just how small it is. First gun I'm going to pull in here, Mrs. Headshot's Glock 42. Uh, she actually switched up to the Walther PPS, which I'll show you as well here recently. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this gun compared to the P365. Okay, single stack 380. Let's just look at them slide to slide. All right, you can see they, the Glock 42 might be a little bit longer, but you, have, you do have that beaver tail right there. So essentially the same length if we put them on their backs. All right, the grip obviously is what you are trying to conceal. This is a 380 six round gun. This is a 10 round nine millimeter, okay? You can see the SIG is just a little bit longer. If you put the extended mag on there, that's where things will change up a little bit. And you can see you probably have a good quarter of an inch right there um, in length. But six rounds, 380, 10 rounds, nine mil. That ain't bad at all. The, the Glock 42 is really thin. The SIG is right at an inch and I think the uh, the Glock, I'll put it on the screen, but it's like 0.86, um, so right under an inch. Uh, this one's at an inch, but very close. Glock 42, great little carry gun. Mrs. Hegshots, uh, one of her favorite guns. Uh, the PPS, this is also another gun that Mrs. Hegshot carries. Let's take a look at this one. This is a six round nine millimeter. So more of an apples to apples type of deal. You can see the Walther is a little bit longer. That doesn't mean a whole lot for concealed carry. Um, but what the dimension that does really matter, you can see the width right there. The Walther looks like it's a little bit skinnier. If we put them on their backs, let's do, uh, let's do the flush base plate and see where we, where we look right there. You can see the PPS is just a little bit taller. Keep in mind, it's only six rounds, 10 rounds, six rounds. Um, let's try the extended. And just where the SIG kind of comes up uh, for your uh, pinky finger right there, you only have maybe an eighth of an inch where it's actually taller. Uh, so compared to the Walther, you can see that uh, the Walther is, is a bigger gun pretty much all the way around. How about the M&P Shield? One of the best concealed carry guns to ever hit the market. You can see the shield is a little bit longer, again, like the PPS. Width-wise, the shield does look a little bit thinner. Also, this one is seven rounds, though. Okay, let's look at them on their backs. Let's do flat first. And I know the shield is longer. There you go. You got a good quarter of an inch. The shield is longer seven rounds, 10 rounds, both in nine millimeter. The shield is a bigger gun. How about the little Ruger LCP2, okay? Small six round 380 gun. I know this one's smaller, but let's see how much smaller it is. You can see the SIG is a little bit longer, obviously a little bit wider, okay? Put them on their backs. Let's again do the flat. Oh, we had the flat in there, I'm sorry. All right, the SIG is right at a half inch, maybe a little bit more taller than the Ruger. Now this is a really tiny gun, uh, but just to put that in perspective, you have six rounds of 380, 
How about our other six round 380 gun? Let's kind of squeeze it in there. And you can see you have that natural kind of progression. Six rounds, 10 rounds. This is a really small gun, but the SIG is not that much bigger than the little 380. That's pretty impressive. How about the Glock 26? This one was one of the favorites for concealed carry for the longest time until the single stacks really started taking off. But let's see how much smaller the P365 is. And, and keep in mind, this one's 10 rounds. So they are both 10 round nine millimeter guns. The Glock is uh, probably a good inch longer. Grip width, all right? That's what's gonna be inside your, your waistband, you know, making your pants bulge out. You can see the Glock is uh, significantly wider than the SIG. How about grip length? This is what we're all trying to hide when we conceal carry, and they are essentially the same. And the Glock has always, the Glock 26 anyways, has always been known for having a really short grip uh, for, for a good amount of rounds too. I mean, essentially 11 rounds on you, they are pretty much the same. Let's put that extended mag in, give you an idea there. Even with the extended, the SIG is maybe an eighth of an inch taller uh, than the Glock. All right, let's pull out the Glock 43, another popular concealed carry option. Six round magazines, okay, nine millimeter, of course. Let's see how it compares slide to slide. The Glock 43 is a little bit longer, not a big deal. Looks like it's a little bit thinner. This is where the magic is on the SIG. Essentially the same grip length, six rounds, 10 rounds, all the way around. The Glock is a little bit bigger than it's uh, than the SIG P365. Now, one more just to show you. Uh, it's kind of a ridiculous thing to show you, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Glock 19. Obviously the Glock 19 is a much bigger gun, but a lot of people say they carry a Glock 19 every single day. Let's see how much smaller. This is 15 rounds, this is 10 rounds. Glock is significantly longer. <laughs> Uh, we kind of knew that. Significantly wider grip. And a good inch taller. Now, you're thinking, you may be thinking an inch. If you've never carried before, you may be thinking, uh, what's an inch? This is the biggest difference uh, between the two. This is going to make a huge difference if you're trying to conceal carry um, this gun. If you, know, if you don't want to print or whatever, depending on your state laws and local laws but even with the extended mag it is it is much shorter uh in the grip length five less rounds though so you pick your poison with these guns obviously this one is aimed at the concealed carry market so after showing you all of those and including the glock 19 just to give you some perspective the the p365 is truly a game-changing pistol i mean it really is as long as the longevity as long as the um, as long as the reliability and everything holds up, uh, this gun is definitely going to be one that will be copied and for good reason because it is a, an amazing size and you get a really decent round count. So there's the P365. How small is it? It is very impressively small considering the round count. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. We will see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.